Hey friends, welcome back to Bloom with Miss B. Today we're going to talk about how to find the missing factor in a multiplication problem. So first of all, real quick review, factors are the numbers that you're going to be multiplying and the product is the answer. So in this situation, we're going to have one of the factors in the product and we're gonna to have to find that missing factor. Let me show you what we're talking about. Okay, so I have A times four equals 24. And I know you must be thinking, Miss B, why are there letters in this multiplication sentence? And that's because this could really be anything. You could have different letters, A, M, B, or you can have symbols like a star, a square, an octagon. All this means is that this is a missing factor that we need to find the answer for. So if we want to do the skip count route, we can go ahead and do this four. And all we're doing is counting by fours until we get to 24, four, eight, 12, 16. 20, 24. So that would mean A equals six. And you have to think of this kind of like a little code. So this is your key that lets you know if you were to plug in six here, the equation will work. Six times four equals 24. Now, there is the other way to solve, which is I want to get this A by itself. So that means I'm going to take this times four. And what is the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I'm going to instead divide this side by four, which cancels this out. But whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So that takes it away. And we're going to divide by four on this side, which means we can still do our skip counting for eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, six. So that would mean this equals six, which means I still have my A equals. And now this answer is six. There we go. So remember, anytime you have a missing factor, you can skip count one number till you get to the other number to find the missing factor, or you can do the opposite over here. So if we are finding the missing factor for a multiplication sentence, I'm going to do the opposite, which means I'm going to divide by this side to cancel it out and divide by this side to find the answer of that missing factor. Okay, so here our equation is three times what equals 15. Now, first thing I can do is just skip count by three until I get to 15. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Answer's five, that means five can go in my missing box. Now remember, this box can be anything. It can be a missing box, star, octagon. Um, my key would essentially be square equals five, so I know if I plug this in up there, the equation will work. Um, this can also be any sort of letter. Now, the other way, if you're not doing skip counting, is you can do the opposite. So, so this means what I want to do is get this box all by itself, which means I need to get rid of that three times. So what is the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I'm going to divide by three, which cancels this out. But whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other side. So I'm going to divide by three. And that means our new equation is box equals 15 divided by three, and there's our new equation. So 15 divided by three equals five, which again means our key, the box, equals five. If you plug in the five to any of these equations, they will be the correct answer, the correct product. Okay, so there's a quick review on how to find a missing factor in a multiplication equation. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one where I'll probably do a missing factor in division because it is a little different, a little trickier. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.